Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. Today we're gonna to look at in depth how to use the Headshot plugin. And I'm gonna show you some cool packs that you can actually check out in the link below where you can get you know, some really unique pictures to actually use in your headshot and create unlimited characters. So without further ado, I'm just gonna load up the plugin and um, you can see here, I've got this pack loaded up and um, it's got 15 unique images in of different people that are in portraits and you can get the pack below just by clicking the link and uh, you can download that pack. And if we just choose any one of these characters, so I'll choose this lady here and we hit generate, uh, make sure you wanna make sure the body types on female and uh, we'll keep, keep it as a clean soft and we'll just hit generate. And there we have it, there's the magic. And you can see, you know, we're not too far off, but the great thing about these images is, you know, they're really already airbrushed and they're really very clean. So when you do bring it in, you know, you haven't got any issues with the kind of skin textures, etc. It brings it in perfectly. And what we can do is we can just go to activate our skull morph here. Now, this is the great thing about Headshot. We have full control over all of the different aspects of the face including the mouth, eyes, and the nose. And um, we could just start tweaking and, you know, messing around with it and, you know, just really trying to get that shape perfect. And uh, this is the really great way you can use the Headshot plugin. Now, another great feature of the tool is we can actually go down here and we can actually activate the image matching tools. And these are incredible because as you can see now, it will, bring it, it will actually um, reflect the real picture on your viewport and you can actually start to mold and shape the model around the exact kind of image. Now it is in 2D, you can't kind of turn left or right. So you have to kind of navigate it in 2D, but you can see here, um, you can just start to really kind of match uh, with the image and match the facial features, etc. Uh, you can always also turn down the opacity of that if you just wanted to see a little bit more of the actual real model. So here you can see we could take down the opacity or we can turn that right up. Um, it's best to kind of leave it a bit down just so you can kind of really kind of see the both images. But again, another great tool to, you know, really start to utilize and, you know, match the kind of shape of the model's head and all her features, etc. And, you know, it's just a really, really cool tool to align the face. And, you know, we can see it looks amazing. And I'm just gonna test out a couple of more for you just to kind of show you how amazing they are and, you know, how quick you can get some phenomenal results without kind of, you know, sculpting them from your own imagination. So we'll just open here. And again, you can see we've got 15 amazing images. They've all been digitally airbrushed and they've all been kind of, you know, taken care of. So they're gonna get you the best possible results. So we'll just use this guy here and we'll just change the body type to male and we'll leave it as clean rough. He's a little bit rough looking and we'll just hit generate. And we can see those results have come back perfect. And you know, it just looks phenomenal. Now, if you are getting little kind of issues like here, which is barely noticeable, but we can see there's a little bit of kind of, uh, you know, bit of a discoloration or the shadow here, you can see is leaked on here. Not an issue at all. This is a very quick fix, guys. You can just come down here and um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see face mask and eyelid mask. With your face mask, we can just go down and uh, we can click this little button here, which is all shadow. And if we click that and hit apply at the bottom here, update the skin texture, you'll see in a second that will remove any kind of, you know, disfigurements or discolorations, etc and it will just get that looking amazing. So, you know, this tool is amazing. Headshot is really incredible. And as you can see, you're getting really unique character results at the click of a button. Um, you know, you can always fine tune, etc. But right now you can see the results are just phenomenal. And this is just a great tool, guys. Um, you know, th this pack has got, you know, some incredible kind of different selections. And, um, you know, it's called the Multicultural Pack. And you can see here, 
you know, you've got a couple of options uh, for different characters and, you know, it really does give you some brilliant results and it's just a great alternative. You know, I've scoured the internet for hours trying to find, you know, usable images, portrait images, and you often find that, you know, their mouths are open or they're smiling, etc. And, you know, you really can't get the best results if the picture isn't kind of neutral and perfect. And, you know, you really have to have it kind of with the mouth closed, etc. That way you are going to get the most incredible results um, in terms of kind, kind of the image quality coming back. So, you know, really hope, you know, it helps and, you know, really hope that kind of gives you a little example of how to use the Headshot plugin. So you can get the pack below using the link. If you just click the link, you can download that pack. So really hope that helps. And that concludes this tutorial and hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial. Music